I'm designing a frame system here in Solid Edge and I just want to show some ways to uh, create parts and position them in assembly. The easiest way I find uh, to create a new part is to use the create part in place, give it a name, in this case it's the base plate, uh, and make sure that you've got um, you click create and edit because that'll take you right into the new part in the assembly. Now at this point there's no geometry and what I find honestly is the easiest way to do this is just to start getting a, a general shape of your part around the assembly origins. We'll worry about placing this later so in this case it's a plate I can uh, you know create a rectangle give it a bit of thickness let's say three quarters of an inch and then maybe tack on a dimension or two to, uh, to finish this design. Let's make it uh, six by I don't know, seven and a half. There we go. Okay, so when I jump back into the assembly and hit close and return, um, it's not in the right place. And, and the easiest way sometimes to just position it is just to grab it with the steering wheel. You notice that it's it, there's no relationships on it. But we can use this steering wheel to position it. So I'm going to drop that right around the uh, midpoint of this part and then drag it down so that it's in line with uh, a key point on the end of my uh, frame here. So this is a nice easy way to sort of get things into the right position without worrying about assembly relationships or anything. So when I'm happy that that's in the right spot, and let me just um, set my rotation point here. This is if you're using a 3D mouse so we can kind of zoom in. So when you're happy it's in the right spot, um, you can leave it there or you can further position it, whatever. Um, Another thing might be like, you know, what if we decided that this plate was now at an angle? Uh, the easiest way again to do that is with the steering wheel. We'll just grab that here and move it at an angle. Now that's going to, and maybe we're actually pivoting about, you see we can use any key point even on other parts as our, our pivot point. So um, I'm just going to move, position my steering wheel so that I've got a point of rotation there and my torus is aligned in the right way. And then I'm just going to go and rotate this. Maybe we're rotating it, you know, maybe a uh, something like 12 degrees up. So now I need to adjust my frame to match that and there's a new feature in ST5. If I click on the frame element I'm going to be given um, some options here and one of them is a frame option which is edit end conditions. If I click that it's going to take me into the frame environment and it's going to show me this uh, the endpoint selected for my uh, my beam. So I can select additional endpoints or deselect and select just the ones I want to modify. And if I hit check mark, what we should see here is the extend trim option. And I'm going to click that to highlight it. And it's going to ask me for a planar face. And this can be any other part in the assembly. So I'll click on that face. And what that's going to do is that's going to trim my frame to match that face. So I'll hit finish. So using relatively few commands, I've gone and made that change without disrupting the rest of my frame. This is a nice handy way to work. The last thing we want to do is we may want to put some assembly relationships on that part because remember we just moved it with the steering wheel. So I'm going to use the assembly relationship assistant and I'm going to select the first part and hit check and then select the part that I want to create the relationships to and hit check. And then I can choose the type of relationships I want, process that, and it will build those assembly relationships into there.